400 miles into orbit in a Gemini spacecraft. The spacecraft is unresponsive. No, there's no thrusters. What do you do? This program is brought to you by a great group of Patreon subscribers. Go to our Patreon page to read more. Join our Patreon supporters and get exclusive content and product discounts. In this issue of Spacecraft Guide, we're going to explore the situation where the propellant system has overpressurized and then once it overpressurizes, it shuts down and then it's up for the astronauts to figure out how to get uh, manually put pressure in, but they got to figure out from what system. So what they do is they use this switch here, the propellant propellant temperature and pressure selector switch to figure out what system has pressure and what some system is over temperature so they can safely get back to earth and when you click on it it takes you to the propulsion temperature and pressure selector switch now if we read here what it does is it selects the temperature and pressure to be measured of the pressurant, now it's important, used for propulsion of the orbit, attitude, and maneuvering system, the OAMS, and the reentry control system, the RCS. So this system here, the o operating attitude maneuvering system, and as you see, there's three of those systems. And if you look over here, this is the reentry control system, and there's two. So they have these three systems that if we had a problem with, like we were saying, the pressurant, what would we do? Well, we know that one of the pressures over, uh, uh, over boosted we might not have any oxidizer or fuel. So we can go into either one or either of these three here for orbiting maneuvering system or more importantly, to come back the reaction control system. And I want to go a little bit deeper for everybody here who is on my page. So we're going to go back one page. So we went back to the virtual reality image of the interior of Gemini 7. We're going to go to the pilot's seat so we can see this a little bit easier. So you can see this is the switch. C, A, and B, and then this is what we're looking at, uh, or we want what to look at. And so we know we know we don't have any propellant firing. We can see that we have some pro uh, propellants, or we might it might show that it's zero here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this switch through one, two, and three to look at the systems and see which one actually has enough propellant in it and at the correct temperature. And then we can start using the switch over here to manually pressurize the, uh, put pressure in into the system to get the oxidizer and uh, the fuel into the thrusters so we can go back home. So, we're going to come back here to the commander's seat, click here, and we're going to head back to the propulsion temp and pressure selector switch. And now this is for our Patreon subscribers, the free and the paid. So if you're not a subscriber yet, you can sign up for free and then we can go, you can go deeper into the schematics with me. So, if you are a Patreon subscriber, when you click on schematics, 